head gasket failure on M100 engines. Well, if you know me by now, which I think a lot of you do, there are about a thousand of you that watch us regularly, and we thank you for that. You know that I love M100 engines, and uh, this is a head gasket from a 300 SEL 6.3. And the car had a very persistent oil leak. When it would get up to temperature, it would start leaking oil out of the back of the motor, down the engine block, and onto the exhaust, creating a very noxious odor that uh, I really just did not understand. And I was having such a hard time tracing the leak that, you know, it was becoming discouraging and frustrating because it was taking me months to do it, especially because it wouldn't leak immediately. Well, I think I can say with some assurance that I found the source of the leak. And it happens to be this oil distribution passage from the left-hand cylinder head. Now let's explain what's going on here. This head gasket sits at about this angle on the engine. And to keep the cam supplied with oil, you have to have a high pressure lubrication passage. Well, Mercedes decided to put that sucker at the very back of the cylinder head which was something that they fixed on the later engines like the M116 and M117 so that this is not as much of a problem anymore. But 6.3s have developed a reputation for squirting oil out of this area and even though they put a copper insert here, the soft material around the copper insert gets fatigued and the oil eventually starts to find a way through and out. In fact, you can see that in this area right back here, there's some oily residue on the top of the head gasket, and there's some oil saturation in the material, and this is where it was leaking. Now, doing cylinder head gaskets in a 6.3 is a monumental job. It's not quite as bad as pulling the engine, but you have to pretty much be in a certain place to see this project through. If it wasn't for <laughs> some of the great Mercedes factory service literature, this job wouldn't even be possible in our shop, but we had to get it done. So in this case, we also pulled the heads and put valve guides on, which is a great idea. I would say that if you have a 6.3 and these haven't been done, plan on doing them in the future because one day in traffic you're going to start to smell that oil smell and it's not pretty. Not to say that the later M116 and M117s are immune to this sort of thing, but you know, it's a lot better on those cars than it is on some of the M100 engines. So this is why owning a 6.3 hurts, <laughs> but when you're done it's just oh so pleasurable. Anyway, thank you so much. Make sure to turn on your notifications so you can see our videos and uh, enjoy driving your Mercedes-Benz.